We're in the north hallway, which is the back opposite the entrance. And in our timeline, we've arrived at World War II. And this part of our World War II display deals with World War II aviators and aviation. And, you know, of course, uh, we're talking about the days when B-17s and B-24s were flying, uh, dropping bombs. The crews were young, 20-year-old pilots. And you'll see in here some of the painted leather jackets uh, with the names of their airplanes on them. The bombs signify, if you see bombs, they signify how many missions the individual was on. And a lot of them are, you know, symbolic cartoon art, uh, reflecting home. Sometimes the plane would be named after the pilot's wife, sometimes just a, a patriotic or a funny name. Uh, but in this case, we also have a woman aviator. And those of you who know about history know that women were not uh, aviators in the, in the World War II. They were not um, commissioned aviators, but there was a branch called WASPs, Women Army Service Pilots. And what they did was they, they, were, they were actually pilots, but they ferried airplanes back and forth. In other words, if a plane was uh, rolling off the line in Canton, Ohio, a fighter plane, and it was needed to be taken to uh, California, they would have one of these WASP pilots uh, fly it there. They were certified to fly all kinds of airplanes. They could fly, fly fighter planes, they flew bombers, they flew everything. And this particular flight suit belonged to Teresa James. She was one of the first um, women Air, Army Air Service pilots um, that, that operated, one of the very first, I think one of the first of 10. Um, and their service wasn't recognized. I mean, they were really thought of as outsiders, not military people, until uh, the 1990s when they were recognized and given their um, back pay and, and recognition and their um, their benefits as military aviators. So, you know, this is the entry point where women enter into uh, aviation, and we have a local woman to represent us here. Uh, she passed away a few years ago. She was in her 90s when she passed away, and she uh, continued to serve. I mean, once she was allowed to join, she became an actual pilot and uh, served in the uh, Air Force for quite a number of years.